Okay. So, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't rudely interrupted. Oh, this went off again. No, guys, I just want to... I guess, like, put it into reality, bring you into my worlds a little bit, because, like, yeah, nobody else is coming, bro. Like, who? Uh, we are the ones. We are who we've been waiting for, whatever that means, that dumbass quote. I'm just saying, you know, like, this is it. This is, like, as good as it gets. You know, and I guess that's something, too, that I just, I guess I'm really having to start to sit with, because it always feels like, at least for me, as a person who's like a super perfectionist it always feels like oh don't release something until it's perfect you know like don't wear this outfit if it's not perfectly like this if these clothes don't fit exactly like this don't wear them at all and it's kind of like that perfection can inhibit progress like you actually need to get to a place where you can like function despite not being perfect and also you can kind of find a nice it's not a perfection equilibrium but like you can get to a place where you're like good enough to where like you're getting shit done you're moving forward it's like my apartment might not be spotless okay but i can still get up and go to work i still like wash my ass every day I still brush my teeth and wash my face, I wash my clothes, I wash my dishes, and I cook my meals. So, you know, maybe for some people, it could be better and they could be, you know, having a more clean place. For me, right now, this is okay. And it doesn't have to be okay for anyone else. You know, like if I feel like something's going on, I can call my primary care physician and we can talk about it. And then, you know, like, I'm going to get my teeth cleaned probably next week. I should have made the appointment today, but I was just too busy doing other shit. I'm just saying, you know, like, it's kind of like you can have enough grip on reality on your life as an adult to where it's like you are moving forward despite the fact that it might not be ideal for other people. If it's, like, at least good enough for you, then that's enough. You know, it doesn't have to, like, look like everyone else's. There's not one way to live out adulthood. There's many ways. Especially to live out, like, female adulthood. Because I feel like for so many of us, like, whatever we're doing, whatever way we're doing it, like, this is the first time anyone is, like, seeing us do it. So nobody else knows how or what it feels like. And I'm just saying, like... I understand the people who are out here and they're trying to like make entire lanes and systems for themselves being like influencers of one way or another but like also there's a whole like this is America bro and like quite a lot of economies already exist and like they really do need people to like do those existing jobs well and the more years that you do them like the better that you get and I'm just saying, like, really any job in technology is totally like that. I mean, it can start with reading one blog post. Or, like, medicine, you know, it's kind of like one class could, like, take you to the next level. It doesn't have to be, you know, so, some, like, oh, my God, I was, like, born this way. Like, you can be born really smart and then become a physician, or you can just train yourself to to like have better study habits and then you can become a physician like either way both of those roads lead to doctor and it's kind of like that same thing for anyone right it's kind of like some people you might have some really trash ass relationships in your young adult years where it's like you meet people and they just keep gaslighting you or they keep treating you like i don't know something like for instance, for me, people like to treat me like arm candy, and so I had to like do a have a graduation moment where I graduated from arm candy to girlfriend, and then from like girlfriend to wife, I guess, you know, that's a thing. But then also I had to graduate from partnership to independence, where it was like, I actually don't want to share bills with another person. I don't want to share food and resources with another person. I want to keep all my resources just for me. And that's a real choice that you can really make. Like, if you wake up one day and you're like, you know what? And I kind of feel like it's a safer space to start there. And I think it actually might be a problem for so many, like, 
guys because like women are starting there women are starting in a place where they're coming out of college bro and they're already independent it's like from college to apartment and i'm just saying for people like me and like especially like jamila it's like there weren't a lot of women who we know who were like going into market rate apartments like guys i pay marketplace rents like i don't i don't have any subsidies i don't have any roommates i don't have any help like whatever the the true cost of the apartment is that's how much i pay so i have to center my life around that that's why i work like every day you know and i'm not even using any of my tech skills well maybe maybe i'm using some of them a little bit but like for the most part bro it's like i'm not so yeah i guess that's just weird it's just weird to have us be real um it's just weird yeah for this to be our reality But like this is my space these are my things this is my life and it feels good to be able to close the door on other people and say like you cannot enter you cannot come in you are not welcome here because this is mine but you are welcome to find your own to have your own things but they don't have to be similar to mine like mine is mine and yours is yours and that's it and I also I guess it's making me really think back to like the significance of small purchases like if you start with a very small purchase like some earrings or like a ring or a bracelet or something for yourself it actually doesn't have to mean anything to anyone else like you don't have to buy those things for other people you can honestly buy that for yourself right like you can buy yourself a ring or a bracelet or earrings and you can wear those earrings that bracelet every day if you want and it can be meaningful for you you can feel special because you bought something for you. It doesn't have to, you don't have to wait for some boyfriend to give it to you. Even though if a boyfriend gives it to you, it is special. If a boyfriend doesn't give it to you, it's special. It can just be special. Because you are special. And like, that's another thing I guess that's like really important to understand like if someone says that you're not special well obviously that doesn't matter but the fact that you believe that you are special is what does matter if you feel like you aren't special today but then tomorrow you say well actually now I've decided that I'm special well, now that day, that minute, that second that you make the choice and you say, I am now special, that's it. That's all you had to do. In your mind, you are now special. And now in the world, that's true. And anyone who tells you that you're not special, they can go fuck off. What they say doesn't matter. How they feel doesn't matter because they aren't special. I feel like there's guys like the this year I really realized like Sean was that person in my life like he for whatever reason just did not feel special and he kept trying to throw shit at me be like well you go to Ikea like yes bitch I do go to Ikea thank you for telling me shit that I know about my life he's like well your apartment sucks I'm like mm, you don't have to like my apartment <laughs> you don't live here you know, he's like, he's trying to say all these things to like bring me down or make me like question the shit that I have. You know, this is why I don't buy new clothes because like the clothes that I have, I selected them. I like them and they are enjoyable for me. And that's all that matters. <laughs> like, like today I received this 
you know, fleece because I told you guys the house cleaner sold the other two fleece, so now I have two replacement fleece jackets, and um, I love them. I picked them out. They were on sale. I bought them on Black Friday. I actually got two new sweaters coming from The Gap. I'm excited about that. And because I got two new sweaters, that means two old sweaters have to be thrown away. I'm not just going to hoard shit. We're gonna, it's, it's like coming in, going out. Coming in, going out. I'm not going to be a hoarder. Okay, like I'm not just going to collect all the shit. This is why I didn't have it. So this is a funny story if I haven't told you guys this one. I had a trash can in my apartment and, well, actually, no. So I did not have a trash can in my apartment. So Sean was helping me move stuff. And so Sean brings a trash can into the apartment. He like gifted me a trash can. But then Sean kept being a piece of shit. So I blocked and deleted Sean and justly like threw away his trash can. Like I put the trash can in the dumpster. So I threw away the trash can. That's a hard concept for some people to understand, but that's what happened. And I made a joke about this to him because three weeks after I threw the trash can into the dumpster, the trash can magically appeared in the building where like, I guess the apartment manager takes the trash can out of the dumpster and then uses it as a community can in the garage so that was weird that was weird but that happened um that yeah that happened <sighs> yeah um I need to cook something for dinner tonight because I'm hungry, but I don't feel like doing it. Oh, she's very pretty. I guess the black a black girl won the pageant this year that's very nice i don't believe i used to do pageants back in high school i just don't believe in americana anymore honestly i think it's bullshit it's just it's just bullshit just all of it i mean i don't think i think the apartment is not bullshit the apartment is a fucking lifesaver it's like every day I have it, it just keeps me further and further away from predator dudes who are just out there trying to take shit from you. It's like they want your time, they want your energy, they want your body, they want your smell, they want your blood, they want your hair, they want all of it. And they won't stop until they consume everything that you have. So if you give them nothing, then it's just better it's just better give them nothing is what i feel like the solution is i don't know i i came to this solution before here's another thing where i feel kind of bad because i do know a lot of great guys and i guess my problem is those guys are not my guy so like like I said, guys, I care about me. So, like, I would want to give my all to my guy. But since these guys, none of these guys are my guy, even though they're great guys, I don't care. You know what I mean? I don't care. That's that's it. Like, yeah. I, what I want for them is to have... I want for them to have like some other girl who's gonna like give them great stuff and for them to be great and shit but, like those guys aren't my guy and I want my guy 
for me. That's just not real for me. I don't know. Whatever. That's it.